Uh, welcome back, nerds. Good to see you all here. Got some new emotes for this one. Some packages and some letters for Lake. I started a playthrough on this game, uh, but I ran out of time to kind of finish it up and whatnot in what I was doing on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a complete restart. And I'm going to try to continue, uh, you know, keeping all my uh, answers and interactions as previously. And we'll get back to where we were pretty shortly. Thanks again, guys, for smashing the like and hanging out. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And thank you, everybody, for becoming members. You're awesome. Thank you very much for all the support. All right, we're going to fire up Lake and get started here. The game is available now on Steam, as far as I can tell. It might also be on PC or whatnot, but uh, elsewhere, I should say. And since this is kind of more of a story-heavy game and whatnot, I'm just going to disappear from the screen and we'll uh, we'll play in just a little bit. I see some more people joining. YouTube's little notification system's taking its time, but we'll get started in just a moment. Christopher Smith, good to see you. Well, it's a holiday in the United States. And the evening. And this game's pretty ultra-chill. So we're going to get into it, and I'm going to need your help too, Chad, depending on what we're delivering, a package or a letter. Get ready to spam those. This game was a lot of fun too, by the way, the first time I played it, and uh, I'm kind of afraid of, to see what's going to happen when it ends, so we'll, we'll give it a try here in a moment to go all the way to the end. Do I miss playing Days Gone and Death Stranding? Yeah, those two games are amazing. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because both games are kind of package delivery games. Uh, Days Gone a little bit. You know, you're running quests and like bringing stuff back and forth and doing things that need to be done, but definitely Death Stranding. Death Stranding is going to get an update. It is going to be a director's version of it, director's cut. Man, that game... Get that game on PC for the director's version. Death Stranding is so weirdly cool and just different and it's just awesome to see what comes out of Kojima's mind. It's really cool. I want more people like him to be making games. More more people from different backgrounds and experiences and stuff. Pretty good. Alright, well if you're all ready, make sure you smash like and we'll jump in now to a full playthrough from the beginning of a lake. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started and go down again. This will be a restart from what you've seen in our, you know, previous playthrough, but I'm going to try to keep it the same, too. We'll try to do as much as I can, similar to the other one. And we'll try to kick this one's butt. Which I guess means just going through the story. Alright. Here we go. Welcome, everyone, to Lake. Uh, and I delete that. Oh, we'll start at the bottom. There we go. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid games, yeah, they're all fantastic. Some better than others, but I really like three the most. And one, one and three, and then two. And four is, eh, five is a little better than four for me, just because it's open world. Giveaways, yep, there's giveaways pretty much every day in the Discord. Make sure you're, uh... Make sure you're a member and uh, jump on that Discord. And away we go. Well, that was a long load. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. <gasps> Today's Labor Day. Oh my God. But I'm glad we made it. Uh, we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. 
Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Adit. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Providence Oaks. Thanks so much for picking me Oregon. up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. All right, chat, let's get our letters. Yeah, it's Labor Day. Shouldn't the post office not be working on Labor Day? Us. Oh, trying to get that extra raise I guess okay let's deliver mail good job our first letter chat yeah we did it nothing too difficult right I think I should be able to face the challenge <laughs> I bet didn't you go to MIT yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Oh, we need to get a package now, chat. Well, we better get a box going. One oh three High Street. Ah, uh, this must be a batch of new emotes for all of the members. Oh, the houses look so nice. It's like The Sims meets Firewatch. Nope. No answer. That's the last of them. All right, back to the truck. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. 
See you tomorrow. Adios. Wow, adios. I didn't know Frank was from Spain. We have a suitcase with us. Nice. House looks nice. Welcome home. Yeah, the uh, Mets are playing the Giants. Who do you guys think is going to win? Weiss Residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. Evening. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Oh, man. Sure I could did. really go for it's blueberry sweet. pie. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Tuesday, September 2nd. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! All right, walk to the mail truck cabin door. Ooh, we got to plan out our route. All right, uh, we're going to go... Uh, package letter... Which way seems to be easiest to go? I think we'll go south and then west and then east and back to the town. That's what the city looks like, by the way. State of Oregon, 1986. Like some, uh, like campgrounds here or something. Okay, we'll uh, figure that out later. Okay, let's drive to our first destination. Do a lap of the lake on foot. Yeah. Okay, this is 207 Main Street, I believe. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Okay. Wow, look at all the good stuff in the store. Oh yeah, look at that pop secret. From Betty Crocker. Wing Dings, High C, Mr. T cereal, Kool-Aid. Dude, they spent a long time making fake brands for this store. Twinkies. Uh, fruit roll-ups. Some of these things I don't recognize, but... Oh, man. 
Some of you probably recognize these. Okay, first package delivered, chat. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, we're getting stopped by the cops. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, they're watching. Okay, we gotta be be cool, be cool, chat, be cool. That was close. Anyone in chat have any illegal hot pockets on them? Ooh, that was close. Okay. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Road's huge. Uh oh, the cops doubling back. What's going on? I'm actually enjoying this. Same. River. Okay, this one's a letter. One oh two Lake Street. Next one's a package. Lots of cats. 200 Lake Road. Boy, I wonder what that could be. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to actually turn our lights on and stuff. I hope they update that in the game where we can turn on our headlights and signal and stuff. I want, I want them to make that an option. Oh god, we're surrounded by cats. There's one on the roof. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name, then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. 
Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Goodbye, ma'am. Genevieve. This story's gonna get good. There's gotta be some sort of conspiracy or something going on in this town. Ma'am, I am pulled all the way over. You can go around. Uh, yeah. YouTube says that we're playing Maneater now because that was the last game that I played when I scheduled this stream. But YouTube doesn't have this game in their Rolodex of, like, games. So, yeah. It, it won't let me change the name to what it should be, which is Lake, as it says in the title. I didn't bring the package. Oh, I just wanted to say hi. There was somebody there. I wanted to make a friend. What on earth did these folks order? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. She's got a Ghostbuster shirt on. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Okay. Next is... Let's see. Alright, chat. Grab your letters, because we got to drop off some at Bear Creek. All right, here we go. Boy, it's pretty, isn't it? Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Wait, did we miss the turn? Oh, yeah, okay. Back here. That's illegal. It's fine. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. a new face yes indeed as of today I'll be delivering the mail great I'm Robert nice to meet you likewise I'm Meredith and here's your mail thanks I better open this right away oh what the
I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Okay. All right, on to one more destination, then we're done for today. He's got a cool-looking truck. Nice color, too. Wow, look at all those logs, man. Okay, so now we got to go to the uh, diner. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, that was close. I almost hit that deer, but luckily he hit me. Well, at least we got lunch. Oh, dear. Well, the sign does say to look for deer. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Ooh. Okay, we got to go back to the diner now. That's on the eastern side of the town. Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? That's a good spot for a diner. A dino diner? Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Okay, well, there's no doubt that we know what package it is. Gotta be the last one in the truck. I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Madam. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Damn you straight. Had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley! One blueberry pie. And 
Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Oh, uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Return to the post office. All right, we're done with day one, boys. Make our way back to the van and get out of here. All right, let's go. All right, back to the post office. And we're here. Finally. Alright, that's the end of day one. Boom. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Dad's in Margaritaville? What? You know what's annoying is I think there's a glitch in the game. There's a non-stop, like, idling diesel sound effect in the background throughout the whole thing. I wonder if restarting that would fix that, but we'll keep trucking for a little while. Let's read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Shulton Brown. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed, right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Okay, uh, I don't think we have to talk to Frank, but we can. Okay, we got five destinations in the town. Three to the west and one to the south. Well, let's go chat with Frank.
Getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. Okay. That is easy. All right, let's see. First thing is going up north. We're going to do package mail, package, and then two letters. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a P.O. positive or pet peeve, followed by the weather. P.O. positive or pet peeve. Dale, what's it going to be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Okay, we're at 402 Pine Street. There we go. People love that pie. Is it a uh, euphemism for murder? Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed in the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Wait, quarter bear blueberry? Uh oh, everything in this town revolves around berries. You married Quarterberry and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. That's true. I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Uh, taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. I can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> 
Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Okay. Meeting with an old friend, I guess. Yes, that's true. Every kiss does begin with K. That's true. And some blueberry pie. Whoop. Well, this truck's really hard to drive when we go slow. It's super responsive. Ooh, there's crack. Oh, look at that. That looks realistic. Sidewalk being all destroyed like that. Realism. Okay, we're going to go to... Okay, so we're going to go package and then two letters. Get your packages, chat. Three five one Main Street. Back to the present. Uh, she was. Oh, it's about a girl. She was never in time for her classes. She. Uh, what wasn't in time for her? Fr wasn't in time for her friends. Then one day she wasn't in her time at all. Okay. Dude, look at all these 80s movies. With sapiens instead of aliens. Lol. Gremlins, Karate Kid. Superman, Godfather. Even though you wear it well. Oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show right there. Ghostbusters. Oh, E.T. Blade Jogger. Dude, all those... Welcome to the All the lore. Check. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Wow. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Labyrinth in the background. Instead of the maze. <laughs> you can't you can't mistake that hair. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm -hmm. You certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? Uh, yes, chat. This used to be called a video store. You'd go here to uh, pick up... Instead of down... No, wait. 
Instead of streaming a file to your TV, you used to have to pick up the file in the form of like a, a tape. You know, like the, the Cilio tape that you used to uh, tape like gifts and presents and such. And you put this uh, little box inside of a box that would then make a picture show up on another box. And it was called, uh, it was called a VHS. Never mind. <sighs> little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But, touche, Angie. Uh, let's just do an age check in chat. Uh, be kind, please what, chat? All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay, let's see. By the way, her outfit changes every time we come here, so it's pretty cool. She'll look different every time. Wait a minute. Ah, I was just checking. Okay, the next stop would be the two houses at the end of the street. road is huge. Wait a minute. Is this where CJ's house is from GTA? Wrong house, fool. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go follow that train. Big Smoke, are you home? Pile in the mail truck. We'll meet the Grove Street boys. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Grove Street, y'all. Yeah, let's check and see where we're going next. Okay, 100 New Street. Okay, three there and then one at the very bottom. Yeah, we were on Grove Street. No, man, I want to be able to signal. You picked the wrong house, fool. there for now you still have an unreturned n64 game wow could you imagine if blockbuster was able to come back 
based on like legally everyone having Admiral to pay the late Keener. fees. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catato- Sorry, heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. <laughs> oh boy. I uh, just... Harry just sent me a photo of him finding a bigger bird at his job. He mows lawns for, like, a local golf course. He just sent me, like, a Poglad 2.0. We have an even poggier Poglad to use. All right, come on, kitty. Get loaded up. Cat lady is your spirit animal? That's fair. Oh, you had a beta max? Wow. Uh, who the hell mails their cat? Well, she's not technically mailing it. We're just doing her a favor without the, uh, without a stamp. Which is a felony. Probably. I wish that truck wasn't there. I was going to pull around. Actually, this is just a letter. Grab your letters. Okay, all done. And we'll go around. Trucker hat emote. So when the cookie crumbles, the best piece they will find. All we're racing to a red light. Try to stand before our eyes. Somehow hidden in plain sight. And we are racing to Okay, all done. One last package to go. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Yeah, it's going to be a real chill stream, chat, so, like, sit way back. Grab a little bit of wine, maybe your ecto-cooler. Some strawberry limeade uh, Kool-Aid. Just sit way back.
That was Clicker Tack joined by the join button now. Clicker Tack joined, become a member today. Thank you, everybody, for all those big O super chats. Appreciate all the support. Smash like, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Ooh, a hotel. A motel. Holiday Inn. Okay, the package is for 400 Lake Road. Oh, there it is. The Oregon Trail Motel. Weird Al Yankovic. He must be playing Oregon Trail. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day. Dude, these people look like Sims characters. Wait a minute, was that the Lumberjack's truck right there? He's not murdering somebody in one of these hotel rooms, is he? Man, this van's turn radius is too much when it's slow. Another brown truck. Does everyone drive a brown pickup in this map? Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Okay, we gotta drop off the cat now. That's a good song, dude. This game is hella beautiful. Definitely feels like Firewatch, but with driving. Confirmed everyone in this game drives a brown truck. Boathouse. Fancy. Oh, the brown trucks were on sale back in the 80s? Oh, yeah. Yeah, may maybe. They couldn't uh, sell enough of them, so 
They put them on discount. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Wow, that is a lot of fresh fish. Hey! Is that SpongeBob and Patrick? A starfish and a sponge? Hmm. And a bucket? Hmm. Seems kind of sus. Okay, job's done. I think we can go home, right? Yep, everything's checked off the list. There we go. That's another day, boys. Nice. Like a glove. Weiss Residence, Wednesday evening. Oh my god, please let that be Publisher's Clearinghouse, please. Meredith, hi. Damn it. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? Uh... I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can... add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> uh, what? Okay. Uh, stay home and watch. The postman always rings twice. Yeah, let's do that. We'll return that movie tomorrow to the video store lady. All right. Well, let's watch this.
Thursday, September 4th. Morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Okay. Oh, boy. Now we're going to plan out our route again. And I think going counterclockwise around the town works out pretty well. But this time... Mm, we have to pick up Mortimer at Miss... Mr. Mackey's, so we'll probably hit the town, go to Moe's Diner, pick up the cat, drop off the cat, and at Bear Creek, and then come home. Good morning. P.O., it's time for a P.O. Positive or Pet P. Okay, folks, let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. <gasps> I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now, on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Man, how come the radio never plays like CCR or something? It's always this MIDI DMCA free stuff. Oh, is it the next mailbox? Ooh, the grass moves. That's cool. CCR rules? Yeah, they certainly do. This is Main Street here, so it's got to be... ...351. And it's the video store lady, which means we get to return that video, too. Video store looks so nice. All the lights and stuff. Probably a fire hazard. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? Notice how her clothes are different? She was wearing that blue blazer before. Very good attention to detail in this game. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic. And probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's... Well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Amen, sister. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. Are you saying I feel superior to these rubes? Because, <laughs> I guess I do a little. You know, 
It's good to see you. Well, that, that's that's nice. But why? Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, here we go. Under underground meth murder ring. Exactly. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? All right, I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? How'd, how'd you know that? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Rolodex Kids was this thing that would, um, it was like a directory. It's like your contacts list in your phone, but these thingies were on paper, uh, sheets little little tiny cards and you'd be able to take a knob and uh, turn the knob and go from A to Z and etc etc and find uh, who you were looking for in your roll of decks Boy, good luck finding out what mailbox it is. I think it's this one. 302 Jackson. Yep. Cool. Alright, on to... Uh, 110 West 2nd Street. Wait, wait. There we go. Wow, this person lives so close to the post office, all these people do. Uh, I think it's this blue one. Nope. It's 110. Is this song on repeat? Ah, oh, they kind of explain it in the game's lore. But it's mostly, you know, developers didn't have a massive budget. So they dedicated most of their budget to the voice acting and stuff that mattered, I guess. You love this game, yeah? Pretty fun so far. 
Just chilling, really. It's like a, it's a chill simulator, dude. With possible murder, drug deal, ring, murder, murder. Nope. No answer. Yeah, all right, where are we going next? Diner. Bro. There we go. It was this 500 Lake Road. Wow, what the hell did they order? Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm good. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? all right actually I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier yes she told me how did that go for you I think it went okay I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you especially after being away for so long then again there are some things that never change right the war War never changes. That that's true. She must be a, yeah, you know, yeah. She's definitely a Fallout fan. Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. Even the name changed. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it. Right? Amen, sister. What? After he got diagnosed. It all happened very quickly. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I'm gonna play with the controller now and see if uh, 
the driving gets a little better. I wish I'd known. Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. What's important is to make sure that uh, you have joined the Discord so you don't make uh, miss out on all the giveaways and such after becoming a member. That's the uh, join button next to the subscribe button. Big blue square. Can't miss it. Go ahead and smash that now. Become a Raptor Ultimate member today. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid... Well, that's no good. I expect pie next time. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Pie. 3.14. Well, this is nice. Now we can walk at a different pace. It's definitely a controller game. I like this better. Yep, I would recommend a controller for this game. Ooh. Truck controls are smooth. I just gotta remember how to open my map. No, that's not it. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, if you hold that, it resets. Well, I got kicked out of the... <laughs> I got kicked out of the... <laughs> out of the diner. All right, let me find the map button. The best bees they will find. Oh, racing to what the hell's the map? Yeah, ab abandon the car on the road, yeah. I'll do it with them. Okay, we got to go to... Oh, we got to pick up uh, the cat, yeah. Holy F. <laughs> uh, sorry, officer. Uh, using my Xbox controller. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. All right, you, chat, you didn't see that. Nope, nobody saw nothing. We're, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're cool. That's good. It's, oh, God, I forgot the cat. Oh, God. Okay. Hog lad. Cut, no, cut. No, I didn't cut anybody off. Did, no. Just driving my delivery van. It's normal everyday day. Oh, wait, the cat's inside the. That's right, I've got to pick up the cat. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. 
I had to throw it in differential lock. Two wheel drive. Okay, sorry. It's amazing, like, you go from playing with a keyboard to a controller, and it's like, w once you don't know where one or two buttons are, it completely changes it. By the way, 0 out of 10 on playable. Uh, but it completely changes like, your experience very quick, <laughs> very quickly. Hello, Mr. Mackey. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. All right, back to the van. All right, Mortimer. There you go. Back into the car. He's safe. Oh, God. Not this again. But to be fair, I parked, like, literally up against the fence. They pick some good songs, though. This is that new Ariana Grande, y'all. Well, if we're going to stop on the street, we may as well block a fire hydrant. Call the cops, chat. Deal with it. Uh, what does a raptor egg get you? If you click or tap join, there's a whole list of uh, membership perks look and stuff. Back. Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Sure is. He was just a little tired, I guess. Well, whatever it was, I'm sure Bert took great care of him. Bert McCracken? And so did you, Meredith. Thank you so much. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith Mortimer. Too many M's. Two people did all the voiceovers? No, no, no. There's a few more than that, I think. Almost the guy who voices Robert did a pretty good uh, older uh, woman voice. And I'm pretty, I'm mean, he's good, but I'm pretty sure he's not that good.
Man, I used to remember getting a... Uh, Lego used to put out like this... Uh, it was either monthly or bi-monthly little... Uh, it was basically like a catalog that had a comic book in it. It was like the Lego magazine or something like that. And it was You get it for pretty much free because it was like a Lego catalog with all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of like uh, advertisements and stuff in it, but damn, was it like uh, it was like the uh, most amazing thing whenever that would come through. Oh, I get it with the right button. Okay. Just wanna watch them stars fall. Holy crap! A new song. Yeah, bro, Lego, uh, Lego magazine was hot, dude. Man, I think I have a whole, uh, I think I threw them all out, but I should have, I, I hope I kept a few select, uh, magazines or something. Uh, legally, shouldn't this guy have a mailbox? Oh, I guess it's right there by his house. Hi, Robert. Disposing of some bodies, I see. There's a face I remember. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Now he must have got a notification about a new video from my channel. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down town hall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. That didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry. I, I blurted that out. But it's still a good plan, though. Okay, sure. Tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Great. I'll make sure to bring all the files, and I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Okay, Chad, now we get to go home. We'll go this way. Covered Bridge Poglad. Oh, that's cool.
Kamaski, thanks for the five. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my god. Well, the driving is smoother, but also a little more challenging. That is some really aggressive water coming out from under that bridge. home. Like a glove. There we go. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science. Life of Python. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Uh, Mr. McBaltzbot, thanks for the five. From a real uh, Oregonian to all the USPS cat haulers. <laughs> thanks, dude, for the five. Uh... I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds. But I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Isn't this girl like 20 and we're like 45? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying... Seems like that age gap would just make her not interested in us at all. Wouldn't she want to go to the mall? Or, I don't know, what else did they do in the 80s? Defeat communism? I don't know. Uh. Yeah, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah, Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Two things I'm having trouble getting used to. <laughs> it does take time. I'm not quite used to it myself. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. That thing probably weighs 11,000 tons. Wow. Never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. I don't know if I'm even allowed to do that. I mean... I'd be using the truck, which is Postal Service property. 
Um, you do know Frank is your boss, right? He's not exactly a stickler for the rules. Plus, it's only two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yes, I've met her during my rounds before. Yes, good. I have these two for her. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that They're is. all so good. So all those movies in. are so good. Uh, chat, which famous celebrity dies in the original Nightmare on Elm Street? Does anyone remember? Wasn't really famous at the time, but he certainly became famous afterwards. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. I guess time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. Bye, babe. Okay, hey, bye. Are we at that stage yet? We You came over once to watch movies. That's very fast. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad. How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? Frank married? Yes, to baseball. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. Oh my god, he's running pure, uncut Colombian cocaine. Confirmed. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much. But he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Bye. Was the Goonies out in 86, chat? When did the Goonies come out? All right, here we go. Friday, September 5th. It's finally raining. Goonies came out in 85? Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Can I zoom the map in? Oh, there it goes. Okay, we'll start at the top and work our way down again. Shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. Positive for that P. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and peeps. It's a positive this time, Jack. My cat Mortimer was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey and our new mailman, Meryl, he's in great condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. This guy's got four songs on his radio station.
Uh, the Goonies was 85. Wow. What a great time for movies. Yeah, the old lady keeps calling us Mer Mailman Merrill. Even though her name is Meredith. Is, Mer is Merrill short for Meredith? <clears throat> yeah, Police Academy. A uh, Naked Gun was probably out by 85. Ghostbusters, of course. So many good franchises by 1986. It's September 5th, 1986, so... Yeah, I remember the movie Clue. Wasn't that with, um... Was Tim Curry in that? Or maybe I'm combining that with... Uh, oh, he was? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh. Why are the streets completely empty? Oh, it's not a big city. And it's raining, so everybody's probably at home. In fact, I'd be weirded out if people were walking around in the rain. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice, yeah. Oh, Tim Curry played the butler? Okay. I think we'll go left. Circle back around, go across the street. Oh, we gotta go back to the... Uh, we gotta go to the video store again. Yeah, Halloween was out by now, right? <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back to Grove Street again. Welcome back to Grove Street! Aliens came out July of 86. Yeah, that, that was already available for rental in the movies store. Did movies really go that quickly to VHS? Yeah, we're going around delivering all the new emotes and stuff for all the members. Everybody who's clicked or tapped join, we're doing some... Delivering some giveaways and such in the in the Discord. Whoa! Wait a minute. Did you see that? Did you see the name of the bookstore? Wow, these devs are awesome. So many references. And all these variety of houses, it feels like they're all designed in The Sims. They're all slightly different. Okay, we'll go for the package and then flip around. Where are we going after the package? Oh. Maybe we should go... 
We'll go see Lori at the uh, mechanic shop last. See. Oh, it was Lil Simsy who was the okay. Wait, that's no, no. these folks order? That's the wrong package. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Suntan oil, seven ninety nine, completely sold out on a rainy day. By the way, seven ninety nine, that's nineteen eighty six dollars. That's like ten, eleven bucks. Candy bars, twenty two cents. Holy crap! One of those yellow parcels. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week, and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Now you see, kids, the thing in her right hand was known as a cigarette. It was like a it was like a vape, except it wasn't electronic. It was actually it would actually burn analog like material. Now she's smoking in what we call indoors, which is uh, opposite of outdoors, where well, in 86, you could do that pretty much everywhere. 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 Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Okay, so she wants us to take pictures, so if you're not getting any sort of, uh... Firewatch vibes yet... You probably should. next now we could go to the diner then the farm then Lori yeah let's do that we'll just flip around up the street Ooh, street lights come on cool Uh, no, we haven't stopped at the bookstore yet. That's not a place we've delivered to. All right, the good news is we're going to the uh, diner, which means that there's a possibility to get food. 
Maybe we can order some Totino's brand pizza rolls. Available in your grocer's freezer. Mmm, so tasty and good. Eat them all. Wow, look at how cool the diner looks. Damn. Must park good for photo. There we go. The other photos we could probably hold on to for a uh, murder evidence. Wait, where's the package? Oh yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Oh man, nothing like diner coffee and some uh, eggs or hash browns. I wonder what the diner gets mailed to them all the time. Like, it's a little too small to be just food. Maybe it's, uh, menus. Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just, uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day. What about it? How did things end up with the moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon. But then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that move, but hey. Uh, that one. <laughs> Grace sounds like a great kid. Yep. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize... It's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good. To talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Yeah, why didn't these ladies just, like, add each other on, like, uh... Well, I was gonna say Facebook, but this is the 80s, so MySpace. Why didn't she just have her in her top, like, eight or something like that? Yeah, Friendster. Why didn't they add her on Friendster?
There we go. One Reynolds farm. Uh, it's got to be either a body or drugs. Look at that step. Zero out of ten on playable. Hey, uh, hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. If your name is Jack Reynolds, indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. I think I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. I think it could use some more songs. Indeed, indeed. Working on that. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen. Postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Trucker hat emote. Sir, that is in violation of code subsection 1322-A. I'm going to need a snap on that. I'm afraid it would need a stamp first. Damn right. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have them here. I can sell you a stamp right now if you want. Don't have cash on me right now. Oh well. I'll take it with me for this one time. Thank you so much. We're a felon now. I mean, wow. I've cut off the police in this town. Transporting... Illegal content. They're going to demonetize me. Oh, the rain stopped. That's nice. Okay, we gotta go to Lori's now. Ah, uh, no, you can't drive in first person as far as I know. That'd be cool, though. Maybe they'll add that eventually. Where's the music, bro? There it goes. What? All right, time to uh, deliver more legal goods. Ooh, chat, thank you for 400 likes. That's very kind, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hi, Lori. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. 
Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The love bug or a nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, that last one might be too scary. <laughs> too scary. I'm almost 16, Miss W. I can take a horror movie. If you say so, Lori. I wouldn't want you to get any actual nightmares. I promise I won't get any nightmares. So you'll pick a nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Tell you what, take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Well, that was easy. Alright, back to the post office. Driving's nice. All these busy people hurrying along. If they're not on the phone, they're all worried something's wrong. Making it important to be the first in line. So when the cookie crumbles, the best piece they will. Like a glove. All right, dinner with Robert. Well now, Meredith and Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one, if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. A roof. Yes, I promised to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm, sure is one of the good ones right there. Check out he what? seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. Damage. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. Damage! 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 That's a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Wow, there must be a lot of damage on the roof. Haha, <laughs> Maureen. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I guess there might be a bit of projection involved. Well, who can blame me, right? <laughs> anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Okay, so what you're saying is, there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws, for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really. I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know? Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Ha 
A coffee refill would be nice. Thanks, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley, is that coffee machine still running? They what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. Do you think he'll manage? What do you think? You'll be fine. When the going gets tough... The tough get going. I love that song. Okay, you two hard-working individuals. Here you go. Thanks, Maureen. Uh, more coffee. How could anyone survive without it? Amen, so, brother. how's life in P.O. so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Time sure does fly. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all. You know, so, thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, uh, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Everything okay over here? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Awkward. That was cringe. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. Uh-oh, we're I'll going to prison. Touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. A monster deal? That is so awesome. Big money, big prizes. Whew, I need to calm down, too. <laughs> well, yes. Calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are... Me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Hi, the tiger. Go get him, Steve. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Let's read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Oh, I was enjoying that. Good morning, Meredith. It's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says, Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Suspicion times one million. Morning, peace. How about a pet peeve to 
to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. And now, music. Grove Boys. Oh, that's fine. I'll buff out. Yeah, we're back on Grove Street, y'all. Like Alright, check. Get the packages ready. We got a ship. What's up, Olivia? That's lighter than I thought. Answer. Okay, where to now? Wait a minute. Somehow disabled the HUD? How did I do that? Uh-oh. Wait, what the hell? There's an autopilot mode? Wait, what? Wait a minute. There's an autopilot mode in this game? I, I accidentally hit like two buttons on my controller and it like went into autopilot. What what happened? That's crazy. Okay. Well, that's cool. Now I don't know where my mini map went though. Wait, now, now this is transparent? What?
Oh, now it's back. What the hell is going on? Every time you need me, I'm telling you I'm here to stay. Looking at your castle, I'm pretty sure you're safe, but still afraid. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. What's interesting? Okay. Wow, this is entered ultra chill territory, that's for sure. Bum, bum, bum. Music's so nice. There you go. Okay, next one is a package for... Walnut Drive? Okay. Vintage Street is ordering a giant novelty metronome. Answer. All right, a little bit of a walk back. Re. Okay, we gotta go talk to Lori. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. 
You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. See you Sunday. Okay, bye. Okay, next order of business is Bear Creek again. Then a letter down to the cabins and the campground that we're done. Pulled the e-brake into that one, boys. Is that a bear? Well, it's just a rabbit. <laughs> watching from Scotland am I enjoying the game I am yes this is uh, ultra mega chill if you're, if you're expecting Hi, like zombies ain't gonna happen and um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday yeah what was that all about well it was just I needed some space I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own I know what you mean cool thanks I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Okay, bye. Right on to the cabins. Philippines, awesome. Glad to have so many different people in the chat. Wow, we have our radio signal the whole time through that tunnel? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, new location.
here, I guess. Hmm. These look like bills. Wait. Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the video store when we get back, okay. Dude, the music's so nice, man. Oh, I couldn't get any air. I tried. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Hi, you two. How's it going? Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Uh, that kind of paper? Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Amen, brother. You're welcome. Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you. Sweet, Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Uh, Zakaria, thanks for the five. Appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Take a picture of the license number? I would, but I don't I think I looked before and there's I don't think there's a license plate on this RV front or back. Hmm. But there is a wheel missing. Hmm, super sus. Oh, the shotgun sound effect was me. That, <laughs> that was me. 
Alright, let's get back to the mail truck. We still have to go back to the movie store now. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, 351. So someone was saying in chat, because they mention marijuana in this game, that it's not, you can't buy it in Australia now? That can't be a thing, is it? Somebody was saying they were from Australia, and some Australian laws are weird. Just acknowledging the devil's lettuce. Yes, so it's only available on Steam. Wow. So not console? Wait, what does that have to do with anything? Shouldn't it be just banned altogether? Well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, this game is, like, highly criminal. Super, super dangerous stuff going on here. Of delivering a uh, letters and packages and talking with people, <laughs> people who live in the city. Super dangerous. That's fine. Good enough for army work. Hammers and nails, ladies. Hammers and nails. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Why is she being all negative now? She seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm. Well, it's better. You sound cynical. I'm sorry. It's just that business is slow and... Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them, please? Hmm. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. Best not to mix these two up. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> wow. You sure this is in the Midwest? Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Wait a minute. This means we have one more job. We gotta go back to, uh, back to Burt McCracken's house. Yeah, screw it. Let's pull around in the intersection. Ma'am? Okay, thank you. What the hell's going on here? Move your asses. I'm doing a live stream. Is there seriously traffic in this town? Like eight cars. Not even a traffic light. Oh, that's it. Uh oh, now we move. Everybody in this town is on drugs. I'm cutting in.
Amazing how everyone can make it around these cars, but the moment the ass end of my truck hangs out into traffic six inches. Dude, these cars look so cool, though. I want to do a pit maneuver on the red car. Hey. It is 1986. The music in this, uh, we need at least one synth piano. Like, even if you make country, you had to have synth back then. I didn't bring the package. Well, that's gotta, gotta get it. Ugh, hold on. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. Okay, all done. Uh, well, the developer of this game like wrote me an email and they were like, hey, YouTuber, we're going to whitelist you for all the videos you do on this. So luckily I'd... They should be using, like, copyrighted free music, but just in case YouTube's thing ticks off, they, uh... Oh, yeah, good idea. Photo of the lake. Yeah, let's do that. We also need photo... Well, we should probably save, save some, uh, pictures. What, what would you call it? Some... Save some room. There we go. You see, kids, after these photos were taken, the photos then had to be developed. That's right. Yes, they would put the, uh, they'd put the little, uh, magic paper into chemicals, and it would make pictures. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Hey, Em. 
them hits me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. We'll meet with Kay. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Come in, were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Okay, this is the most interesting story within the story, is the uh, faucet. We need we need to know what happens. Uh-oh, back to added 87. Girls added again. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There's so much space. And people just start conversations with you as if they don't have somewhere uh, to be somewhere else. Which is probably true. So far, I've delivered quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. Uh-oh, she's... Uh-oh. I wonder what next week will bring. She's documenting her crimes. But now... Uh, but not before ending this week with two meetings. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. She's a double agent. Hey, yeah. M! M! Up here! Hiya! Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. What? I have to what? On on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Look, you... You were never even in the scouts! It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it! Isn't it nice up here? Sure is. Oh, that view. Gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? No. Oh my gosh, it totally was. Ew. Oh, did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. So much has happened since then. Maybe. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I 
basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less... complicated. Well... Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? About Wendy's. Wendy is my secret love. I need to know her recipe for the. By the way, did you guys hear the? Did you guys see the like the new Pringles flavor? It's uh, the spicy Wendy's chicken sandwich for real. Go go look for it. Ah oh, man, I was gonna put that on my shopping list and I forgot. Damn, I'll have to do it next time. Emergency. Uh, Wendy slash Pringle pickup. I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean... Really? Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. Hmm. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music, but I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed, helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. I can't imagine what it must have been like to make that choice. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Chat, you're so funny. I see you guys. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. I don't want you to feel sorry. We all have our own lives to live, right? You're funny, Chat. I mean, I guess you could have done more to keep in touch. You were really kind of a turd in that respect, I have to tell you. But that's life, right? It's in the past. 
I'm just glad you're here, right now, looking at the lake with me. It's good to know it's never too late to make new memories. Amen to that. Amen, so brother. To be a well-rounded individual. Yeah. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Nah, I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Good. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster Deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. That's at least, like, maybe two, three dollars. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh, well, maybe. I think... Maybe once you're done with school, you can start traveling. Go out and see the world, like you said you wanted. Meet new people, do new things, be a free spirit. I think that could be cool, too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, oh, or Sequoia National Park in Cali. Uh, I don't know what gem is. She's chat. You're saying she's wearing a gem T-shirt. Is that a movie or a band or something? That that one I don't know. Well, maybe try something local first. Those are very far away. I'd start with just Oregon. You can always go bigger from there. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> Me too. I should get home soon. 
Later, Meredith. Is she Later. still wearing her gloves from the... Wait, she was still wearing... <laughs> she was wearing her maintenance gloves from the auto body place. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is that it actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, -oh. uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. The feds. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh-oh. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes, or received envelopes from him, that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Didn't we just discuss personnel matters by you asking me literally questions about personnel? Sounds a little counterintuitive, HR. Stop Only of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive <laughs> or pet peeve? Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. Not HR, internal affairs. It's all the same. Ooh, I like the... <clears throat> the sidewalk of this house is kind of nice. It goes up like that. That's cool. Okay, where are we going to go? This here next? Oh, it looks like the uh, people at the campsite have a letter. Okay. Yeah, apparently this lady went to MIT. <clears throat> All right, well this is uncharted territory now, boys. We're going to we might be seeing a huge conspiracy, could be an international drug ring. Oh, see cops. There's cops out too. Could be an international domestic international drug ring. 
Wait. E break. Oh, I wish that worked. Oh well. Okay, I'm being real sus. Get it together. Okay. This is one one oh three East First Street. Here we go. One oh four is on this side. Answer. Certainly a lot of packages going on. Remember when you had to order things like through a catalog, you had to mail it off and then ugh, it took forever to come back? Yeah, I think we'll go counterclockwise again. PS5, dude, PS... Dude, I don't even believe they exist. I mean, I've never seen one in the wild. I think they're just made up. I don't I don't think the PlayStation 5 actually exists, no. Okay, more mail. Oh yeah, the Nintendo. Yeah, so I think the Nintendo came out in '85, so it's been about a year since. Like, uh, Duck Hunt and uh, Mario. That that dual cartridge was a thing. You love the videos? Well, thank you, Jesse. Uh, package here. You had the Master System? Awesome, Robert. Me too. Yeah, I had the original Master System, then the Genesis. Cousins had the, uh... Cousins had the Nintendo. I went down the uh, Sega and then Sony line, and they stayed Nintendo for a while. It was good because then we could share games. We got we got the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, Shinobi. Yeah. Wait, is this not? Oh, it's a damn mail. Oh, ugh. not a package. This is the regular mail. My bad. I wish the box variety was a little different. It'd be kind of cool if, like, some of the boxes were, like, a little blue box or... But at least the the sizes are always different. Like, they show different sizes and, uh, like, shapes and stuff. That's cool. Oh, God, you have the Jaguar? Oh. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, interesting indeed. Okay, so on to... Oh, the motel needs an... Oh, the nerd at the motel. Then the campground, and then back to a... Um, Burt McCracken's house. Anyone remember Atari? Atari's still around. They're still making games. Oh, 
Uh, yep, chat is pretty close to 500 likes. Yep, thank you, everybody, for the love and support. Appreciate it. You know, actually, now that we're playing this game for driving, um, the tomorrow uh, American Truck Simulator gets the Wyoming DLC. So we actually get to go to Yellowstone. Well, I don't actually know if we get. Well, we probably should be able to get to go to some sort of area in Yellowstone. We'll go to Yellowstone National Park and all the cities in Wyoming. Yes, that is where Yogi Bear was born, yeah. His actual non-existent cartoon bear, Yogi Bear. Actually, I think they called it Jellystone. Jellystone? Anyway, we'll do ATS stuff tomorrow. Maybe Poglab will do... Oh, God, the nerd again. Let's listen in on the nerd. What do you think he's playing? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Uh. It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Bro, you're just gaming. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. This guy reminds me of the comment section. Okay, I talk to him again. You know what's funny is he's gaming like they do in The Sims, too. Like when your Sims sit down at a computer and you tell them to start playing a game and they start leaning into it and bouncing around and stuff. Alright, let's go. I gotta go to the campground next. Alright, so I'm pretty convinced that the guy at the hotel is running... Uh, He's probably the guy storing the money with the drug ring. Halfway there. <laughs> Holy crap. The space between the back of my truck and the front of that car is the length of the USS Midway. The AI parked, like, an entire state behind me. <laughs> Those people are in a different state. 
They're across state lines. And now we got to meet with the camping couple again. I think I'll just park here. Actually, I want to see what this sign says. Probably just the map. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. We're good. We're good. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Uh, big O 20 dono from uh, Levi. Levi, thank you very much for the 20, dude. Appreciate that. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Ah, druggies. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Uh oh. Bert's trying to get the hippies to to get out of here. Bert's putting dead fish under their windows. I may have oh, hold on. Mickey's gotta read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still ship faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. <gasps> we will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? Damn it, I want more hippie lore. Bye Wednesday. Our last night here. Oh. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. I've never consumed a marijuana before. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Wednesday after sundown, that's two days. Campfire hangout with the hippies. Okay. Uh, now we gotta go talk with Burt McCracken. And go pick up the movies from him. We lent him Jaws and that uh, portable VHS thing. Crack McBurton, yes. It's not what we know. It's where we go. I go wings and tell her goodbye. It's not what we see. It's what we choose to be. What? Controller is much nicer to use, but there is a bit of a dead zone.
Alright, Bert. We know you're trying to scare off the hippies with the fish. Here we go. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Are you bothering the hippies? Oh, well, let me talk to him again. I wanted to ask more. I wanted to know more. SpongeBob, Patrick, good to see you. All right, back to the van. Now this means we got to go see Lori again. Now she's going to be all stressed out and negative. She's going to be, you know, spreading negative waves. She needs to cut it off with those negative waves. Why would a fisherman want to watch Jaws? I don't know. This guy's literally just a fisherman in a tiny lake. Yet another, our second Donald Sutherland uh, reference in the stream. Wow. Yeah, this forest is Bob Ross beautiful. It is gorgeous. Those tall trees and those changing colors. Very nice. Yeah, oddball, yeah. Yes, in, uh, what was it, Kelly's Heroes, he played Oddball, a uh, tank commander in World War II. Good movie. Go watch Kelly's Heroes. Oh, wrong way. Kurt Russell? Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I mean, there's seven people in the town, ma'am. It's not going to be easy to get everybody to rent a movie. Stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? 
How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Wait, what's the movie, though? Oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Better be a good movie. It's not. It's 1986. Wait, what movie premiered on like? Sub, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh well, well, okay. Wait, it could be a little older. As in, all right, like what movie premiered in 86, September 86, or like late August, early September of 1986? Any guess as to what movie it could be? Back to the Future? No, that's already on, vi on video. But if I honk twice, it resets the van? Oh, that's a oh, whatever. Crocodile Dundee? Oh my god. Oh, we gotta get going. Hold on. No time. <laughs> oh, Predator? Rocky? Ferris Bueller? <gasps> These could all be good. Hello. Top Gun? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the Princess office? Bride? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? What's up, Jonathan Doak? Hey, what year did Beetlejuice come out? I mean, just interesting. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. Oh, it came out in '88. Oh. Do you miss Providence Oaks? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun—it's 
Very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers! Cheers! Woo! Brewskies, bruh. Party, Dad. Woo! Oh, God. If we get rear-ended in this car, it's over. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? My pick? All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, that's Blue a Velvet. Blue Velvet. Or the Great Mouse Detective. Bro, we're going. We're going with the. Uh... Wait, give me guidance though. At least give me some guidance though. Like... Big Trouble in Little China, bro. What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Yeah. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Yeah, you better hurry up and tell me which one you want to watch. Heard anything about the Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need? A road map? All right, I'm ready to pick. Wait, how how did the car come to a complete stop? Wait, I don't remember the Great Mouse Detective. Wait, I kind of wait. Hold on, let me. Hold on, I gotta tab out and look this movie up. Hold on, the uh, Great. Mouse Detective, 1986. Oh my god, that movie? Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that on my watch later list, actually. Okay. Uh, we're going with Big Trouble. Uh, we're going with Big Trouble, because tonight I'm probably gonna watch Blue Velvet and then Great Mouse Detective later. But Big Trouble I watch, like, every, every year around Thanksgiving. Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh, the carpenter. This ought to be a ride. <laughs> I'm not going to see no damn Disney movie in 86. And I'll it's watch that at home. endlessly quotable. Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> you were right about it being a ride. Woo! Yep, that's carpenter. And the best part is, we don't have to talk about hidden meanings or anything. Oh, dear. Does that mean we have to talk about ourselves dun, dun, dun. <laughs> is, it, is the interior of this car ps1 so or leather anyway, my parents house is right down this road as you well know right missy let's go that way I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. How the hell did she pull the car over without turning the wheel? What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. Oh, hell yeah, short circuit. Oh, oh, uh oh. Is there not a third option? M mislead. Pop smoke. Pop smoke. Don't give a direct answer. No, this is... Oh, God. Okay, the second one will... Okay, we'll go Next with two. time is a little presumptuous, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. Okay. So, here we are. Now what? Oh, this is... Re okay, can we... This is... Ma'am, this is a Christian stream, Okay. It's it's past nine. Oh God. <sighs> well, how to hell with it? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. 
Is that another slip of the tongue? Oh god, oh god. Oh, those cheesy 80 triangles on her sweater too much. It's dr drawing me into those neon signs at a Kmart in 1989. <laughs> I wonder what old Jack Burton would say at a time like this. Oh, that was dumb. That was it? Okay. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Frank, it was consensual. Stop, okay? It's fine. She's a little nerdy, but it's cool. Yes. I wanted to talk to you as well. That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? <laughs> They're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Boy, that narrows it down. Thank you. Oh, God. Look at all these packages. Oh, my God. Ooh, we get to go up here now. Um. Oh, the diner again. Man, the the amount of packages the diner needs. Jeez. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or pet peeves? Will it be... A P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence. Oh, this I'm guy. I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. Okay. We're at uh, 351. How come never never more than one package? It's it's one or nothing. Will this be awkward? Yes. She's not even on the right side of the counter. Oh, hey you. Uh, what the Hi. hell? It was just Don't a kiss. You wanna rent a movie? Huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Whatever, these two deserve to be happy. Uh, but what? Yeah. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? Okay, the babe thing, okay. All right, we need to talk, listen. The babe thing started out of nowhere. It's, that's, bro, that's not, it's cringe. It's, is that Terminator over there? Look, there's Terminator. Wait, sorry to get distracted, but that's actually... T is that T1? Bro, step step aside. Oh, that's the T1 box art, bro. What does that say? The Thermominator? Damn near killed her. I'm not sure what to make of what happened the other day. Of us, so to speak. I mean... We went out. We had fun. We kissed. What do you need, a road map? <laughs> well, when you put it that way... Just spit it out, gal. Tell me what you're thinking. I promise I can take it. Oh, what? Oh, come on. This is cruelty. I I'm just here to deliver a package, madam. Wait, we're only here for two weeks. Screw it. I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. 
<laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? Taking stock of the store? Or of your life? <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I'm streaming, but I could be in the Wendy's drive-thru. Yeah, I get that feeling. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that... This whole Flick Shack adventure... I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. Wow. Is business that bad? Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I am. What? Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. What the hell? You... You bitch. I kissed you. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well... Take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Maharia, I'll swing by later. No, don't hug her. She's leaving. She just slash her tire. Wait, we were just we were hugging midair, and now the door is closed. Oh, that's that's painful. Wait, what did she need? Wait, I delivered a package here. What What did she even need? She's shutting her business down. Ah, whatever. Wait, she was also selling albums. It's not just a, about movies. She was selling the latest movies, latest series, VHS and Betamax. Uh, rent or buy albums and LPs. LPs and albums would have sold just fine. Ah, whatever. Well, I feel like just completely baited in. Like, if you, if you don't do that, you'll feel bad for that other girl. But then she ends up just being like, Hey, I know you're leaving in a week, but I'm, I'm pulling out right now. I'm just... Like, you can't do that. Ma'am, you have a small business loan to pay off. How can you how can you just shut down, declare bankruptcy, and pull out of town within twenty four hours? That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. And where does she live anyway? It's not even catfish, that's just like That's like land speed record for like taking calling someone babe, taking them out uh to uh movie theater. On a date, shutting down your business, and then leaving town all within like 48 hours. Yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna TP her house. I'm gonna find out where she lives and do donuts in her yard. Although a lot of people's lawns here are quite not a lot of space, very small. Here yeah, we're at 103 East Fourth Street. That's lighter than I thought. Well, if I fall in love with everybody in town, eventually they'll all move out. Nope. No answer. And then we can become de facto mayor of the city. Yeah, we'll put shaving cream on our car. And I'll just write the words jo click or tap join to become a member today on the side of her car. <laughs> She could have at least became a member after l kissing. I mean, come on. Calling me babe all the time just 
Click tap join become a member today. That's all she had to do. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go across the street and then back again. I'm pretty used to this route. I can't believe how quickly she just like ended biz. I'm, st I'm, st I still can't get over that. What's going on here? Move it, Miss Frizzle. Get the damn magic school bus out of the cul-de-sac so I can roll around. What street is this? Jackson? Well, I wonder what that is. Yeah, yeah, she didn't she didn't just debate me. She she debated all you guys. She got what she wanted, now she's bailing. Uh. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. There you go. Pretty cool car, though. Okay, we're done here. Are you waiting for someone, ma'am? What the f- Hey! <laughs> I was, I was going to get in. She's like, oh, hell no. Is that YouTuber? I'm out. Wow. Damn, I didn't know that van could go that fast. 88 miles an hour, Marty! And she hit 88 at the intersection. She's gone. She's got to make it back to 1956. I can't believe how fast that car went, dude. Alright, let's head back to Grove Street. Great, Scott. Yeah, I, I think I uh, I make it a point to try to watch uh, War Game or War Games with Matthew Broderick and uh, Back to the Future like once a year. When I went out to uh, San Diego in June, I uh, watched that movie. I think on the way back. Every year. All right. I'll leave it on the doorstep. That's a tripping hazard right there. Okay, how much more work we got to do? Two more inside of town. Oh, there's one at the camping site in the south. Okay, well we'll uh we'll keep going our usual route. You picked the wrong house, fool. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go straight then left down you know you think of it, I, 
Honestly, I think a video store would have been successful in a town like this. But even more like pizza. Having a pizza joint. Or wait, why didn't she have a video store and a pizza joint? Wait, why is this mailbox this way? Hell? I still can't get over that. Like, she kind of gave up on her dream really easily. She's like, I'm here to bring... To connect this town with the outside world of new movies and media and music. Well, bye. It's like, wow, okay, very, very passionate. Now you try to start a small business, take out a loan. And within two weeks, you bail. Oh, chat, you're funny. You're funny, chat. Hit 105. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I think we'll go check with Robert. I'll take the side route. Wait. Oh. The stream's keeping you up? Oh, that's alright. Let, let me put you to sleep. What does that sign say? In honor of that deer raptor ran over at the beginning of the live stream. Wow. Close enough. Okay. Honestly, that deer hit me. You know, for as often as like it's it's seriously like every third game that we play now has deer in it. I need to have some venison again. It's it's been a while since I've had. Uh, I think my favorite is just venison, um, you know, sausage where it's like summer sausage, but also a uh, little venison jerky. A good friend of mine had some really good, like, venison sausage and jerky with, like, uh, some pretty good... Uh, see, I think they took it to a uh, butcher and, and got some uh, good spices and stuff added to it that were just... Above and beyond, it was crazy. Probably the most flavorful meat that I'd ever, you know, had just as alone. Venison's so good, you just snack on that like you do with the summer sausage. Just cut off a little bit, maybe add a cheese and crackers. That's good stuff. Uh oh. Is this package for him? 113 Raven Way. Oh, that's for hiding bodies. Wait, what the hell is 113 Raven Way? Oh, down there, okay. Yeah, this town's buying a lot of chainsaws all of a sudden. Okay, let's go find, uh... Oh, 
Oh god. Hey Meredith, I'm up here. Hey Robert. Is it cold up there? What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Damn it, that's what he said. Ooh, venison steaks. Nice, chat. Nice. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Robert. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh. Here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. What? But to do a tree version of We Are the World. Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes. I can do Bruce. We are the world. No. Oh, we God. are the children. Uh, that needs some work, Robert. I'll be. Cindy. Cindy Lopper. Cindy Lopper. Well, 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 let us realize all that a change can only come. Oh, yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta go to the Reynolds barn at the end of the day. I have a feeling like we're done helping everybody out in town. Are they just gonna leave? I guess Robert's just going to be like, awesome, they're not building the apartments here anymore. Bye, everyone. Wait, aren't we supposed to go to the hippie party tonight? Oh, that's tomorrow night. Tonight's the recording session. Tomorrow's hippie night. Yeah, we're doing live aid. You think Frank's going to go to jail? No way. There's no way.
What a strange group of, like, cabins and buildings back here. Good for hiding bodies, I guess. What the hell? Anybody even live here? Well, I'm gonna have to put like four by four diff lock on to get out of here. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought. Ah, uh, Kentucky Bucky. Now a raptor egg again. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for stepping up and becoming a member. All right. Is anybody home? Yeah, we can't even get up the steps. Nope. No answer. All right. On to the next one. I hope they can find that in the tall grass. <laughs> What? Every time you need me I'm telling you I'm here to stay Looking at your uh, Okay I'm pretty sure you're safe but still Walking in your garden Knowing what you're dreaming of Past the copper statue Okay Of everyone you've ever loved Lower down Yep, last package is Moe's Diner This road's really nice, so it reminds me of when you uh, drive around the big lake in uh, my summer car. When you take the uh, county road all the way around that. Except this is, of course, a little bit more like, uh, eh, it's more like Firewatch. But nothing really sinister is going on. At least not yet. Need to take some more pictures, too, to give it back to the lady at the uh, general store. Oops. Uh, I was going to take a photo, but there's no options on the camera for a zoom or anything, so... <laughs> Take pictures of the of the video store trying to skip town, yeah. Wow, look at this package. Is this a new plaque for uh Mo and Kay to have on the On the door or something? Oh god. Gotta come in at an angle. There we go. Oh, I got through I the door. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. It's nothing illegal, right? Oh my god. 
I'm so excited about this. I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... Wow. The E.T. Atari game reference. We have to go with that one. A bunch of copies of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. Is it illegal, though? You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! <gasps> Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. Damn it. We're clean out. Anything else? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. I want the pie, ma'am. Yeah, we're getting completely destroyed on the pie. Okay, that should be everybody, right? Alright. Go back to the post office. Back to the post office we go. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert. Take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on, hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris. And I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? 
Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the... Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Hey, man, okay, brother. folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Wait, are we really going to do something? Oh. I thought we were going to play farming sim. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. All right. Here we go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right, but where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Okay. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive or bad P. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake, what a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun might come back in the end. Enjoy the music. Okay, let's take a look at our routes. Pretty normal stuff. Oh boy, things are getting interesting now. Oh, I saw a bear jump across that road. <laughs> yeah, we need to bust Frank out. Justice for Frank. What the hell? What? <laughs> Did you guys see that black truck? That must be Frank. What's this? The flick shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. 
Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. I didn't even deliver a letter. Okay. Grove Street. Some are faster, some are slowing, some are high and some are low. Dancing through the last days of September. Holy f <laughs> <laughs> We got a lot of letters and stuff to deliver. I'm trying to be fast. All right, where are we going next? There's a package just next to the post office. We'll hit that on the way back. One thing I've noticed is when I break with this truck, it like pulls to the right. Or left. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you break, it pulls left or right. Okay. Wait, next house? Two oh two Lake Road. Nope, no answer. There you go. What's up, Brody Stone? How you doing, dude? Welcome back. Good to see everybody here. Wait. Yes. Very peaceful this game, even though there's an interesting story going on. Oh, this is Walnut Drive, okay.
Okay. We'll hit up the farm. And then Moe's, and then we'll come back. Oh yeah, tonight's our hippie party. Yeah, we finally get to go party with the hippies. Very excited. Yeah, we better get pie, damn it. They owe us for an IOU. Alright, here you go, sir. Meredith. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. Uh what? As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Rack's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hand. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Get back to what? It, you can't do anything. It's raining. Isn't it well past harvesting season? True enough, but uh, something else is keeping me occupied. And what's that? Can't say, mail carrier Meredith. Can't say. Have a good one. Drugs. Okay, go into the diner now. Man, I swear we go we go to the diner more than anywhere else. Yeah, this whole town's getting sus. Like the story's picking up now. Things are gonna start being interesting shortly. order you always say that ma'am hi Maureen PO people I need to pause the music for a special message uh, hush, darling I want to hear this and so do you it's from our own Robert Harris who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty uh, don't lie to yourself he's talking about the trees 
Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Well, actually, Robert set it up himself, at Jack's. Did he now? And how would you know about that, huh? Because I was at the studio when he was recording it. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? Nah, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent, or not, if you know what I mean. It'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course, but it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Okay. No, we're never gonna we're never gonna get our pie chat. Never. What Tareen just suddenly stopped. Okay, one more package to deliver, and then we're going back to the post office and then we go to the hippie party. Yeah, I don't know why she's not giving us her pie. Seems like a conspiracy. general store again let's take a few more photos before we go inside
I want to find other things to take pictures of so we can turn this in. Oh, looks nice. I I do like that. Okay, two more to go. Perfect. Let's see if uh, what's his name's at the base. Wait, did the paper just get stuck to his head? Uh... Oh, -ho. they removed uh, Frank's model, but they didn't remove his animations. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Frank's actually standing on the chair. <laughs> so Frank is invisible, but he's standing on the chair. So the notepad being there is it being in his pocket. Okay. There. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's go uh, drop off this package and deliver these photos. They did a good job of making like little side alleyways and parking areas for everybody. Photography coming along. My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Cool. Time for a hippie party. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. 
That's great to hear. Yeah, we're so happy we finally took the trip. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Uh, what? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... No! Wait, you want me to decide now, game? Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories. Cringe of you and me. Memories. Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Wow, yeah, awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these... I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. Amen, brother. The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> <coughs> Meredith! I would do it, but I think uh, what's-his-name's probably going to start doing drug tests at work. No thanks. I'll pass. June. Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Whiskey? Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. Are his eyes bloodshot now? Memories. Oh, no wonder his singing sucks. Memories. Memories of you and and me. Memories. 
All righty. Here you go. Why is alcohol more acceptable? Because it's 1986. The, the weed will kill you. <laughs> One puff could kill everyone. I'm Nancy Reagan. Just say no. So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. What? You're evading taxes and, like, assaulted a police officer? Damn. Wait, shouldn't they be able to easily find where they are, though, through the mail? Like, they literally have mail coming to this campsite. How are you guys going to cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Uh, thanks. I'll sell that on eBay. I mean, uh, via the mail. Wait. I don't know. Is it even yours to give away? Technically, no. But the owner's a good guy. We'll square it with him. Don't worry. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you. He got worse. Uh, Pixel Pusher Pro with the 20 from Shark Week to Going Portal. Uh, the best gaming channel on YouTube by far. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. Okay, I didn't do the weed because I figured what's his name is probably not going to be cool. We got three parcels, a bunch of letters. Where are the parcels going? Oh, we got to go all the way down there again. Wait, the game only goes until the 21st. Wow. We still have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to go through. Ho, oh, oh. ho. That's a long way to go. Eastbound and down, brother. I see you're still levitating that pen with your eyes. Amen, brother. Hey, we're almost to 600 likes. Thank you guys for all that support. But th this is like the halfway through the point, uh, halfway through the game. Make sure I save just in case. Yeah, it could be the Matrix with that pen action going on. Well, let's take a look. So we started on September 1st. We're on the 11th, yeah, so we have till the 21st. So another 10 days to go. Wow. That's good times. 
All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here for now. I'll come back with more of Lake sometime soon. We got an extendo look at this. I'm actually more interested in this than ever before. I'm really enjoying this so far. Got to grab something to eat, though, and make some other videos for you guys for this week. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you guys next time for Lake. Make sure you just go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We might not play it again, like, directly tomorrow, but maybe in a few days. And I'm interested in wrapping this one up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a good rest of your uh, Labor Day uh, weekend and Labor Day itself. And I'll see you all tomorrow. America. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Time for Din Din for me. Got to go get in the Wendy's drive through line. Bye. Thanks for watching. Kentucky Bucky, thank you as well for becoming a Raptor Egg. I'd miss that. Thank you very much, dude, for your support.